Are you looking for an amazing sugar cookie recipe? Do you want mine? This recipe is one of my personal favorites. In fact, I'd say it's my signature recipe. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. Let's get started. So this is a recipe I've used for years, and I also have tens of thousands of customers that swear by this recipe too. So we're gonna start with one cup of butter. I'm also gonna be showing you how I roll it out and bake it just perfectly, so um, I can't wait for that part too, but we're gonna, we gotta get it mixed up first, right? So I've got a cup of butter and I've got a cup of regular granulated sugar, and we're gonna go ahead and start beating that up we wanna get it a little bit fluffy and really well incorporated. So go ahead and turn on your mixer. I'm gonna turn it up to about medium to high speed. And we're just gonna get that all mixed in and incorporated and we want it to get uh, a little bit fluffy. So I'm gonna mix it for probably about a minute or two. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the sides of the bowl, and then we're gonna add in a little bit more of our wet ingredients. All right, so I've got some vanilla here. I've got a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract, and I've got a half a teaspoon of salt, and I have a half a tablespoon of almond flavoring or extract as well, and then I'm gonna throw one egg in there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up again and get all of those new ingredients incorporated. You can mix on either low to medium speed. All right, that's looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and scrape the bowl one more time because I noticed I've got some of that just butter sugar mixture that still needs to get mixed in. And I'm using, um, I typically use either like a, a silicone spatula or a stiff spatula, but something bigger. Whew. There goes butter and sugar. Okay, I'm gonna mix with like a few more seconds and then. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna go ahead and start adding our flour. So uh, we have, Depending on your, your um, location, your environment, your humidity factor, you're gonna add anywhere from about three to four cups of flour. So I've got four measured out here. I'm gonna add half of it. So about two and a half cups are gonna go in. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in. Okay, now, definitely needs a little bit more flour. So I'm gonna add half of the remaining. And then see how that does. We're gonna mix it until it gets well mixed and starts to clean the inside of the bowl. That's what we're going for. Yeah, not quite there. It needs a little bit more flour. So I go by adding half of whatever's left in the bowl. And then same, when you add more, just add half of whatever's left in the bowl. And again, I had four cups total measured in, the, in my bowl here. Turn it down just a second. And then this should all start coming together now. There we go. So it started to clean the sides of the bowl and really all come together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take it out. Now we can go ahead and I'm gonna take this out of the bowl. Actually, I'm gonna clean this up real quick. And then 
I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I um, roll out the perfect cookie. But before we do that, I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to amaze your friends and family with the most awesome looking cookies they've ever seen, you're in the right place because this channel is where deliciousness meets joy and we're all about having fun with cookies here. So we'll show you how to make cookies that look impressive, but of course are easy to make. So please do me a favor, like this video, subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss an episode and share this channel with any of your friends who like to bake. Anyway, thanks again. Let's get back to the video. All right, so I got all my dough mess cleaned up and I've got it all set up here to roll out the dough. And I don't use flour when I roll out my sugar cookie dough. Let me tell you why. Uh, I have a really good consistency of my dough and so I don't want that ruined by more flour. So I actually use parchment or sometimes I'll, I'll use Silpats, some baking mats to help roll out the dough. Also, the way I'm gonna show you how to do it is gonna make it super easy to pick up the shapes and get them on your tray too. But sometimes, I mean, how many times have we tried to pick up shapes off the counter and it sticks and our shape is ruined? So I'm gonna show you a really easy way to avoid that. So I've got my dough here and I'm gonna go ahead and um, put it right on the one piece of parchment. I've got another piece of parchment that's gonna go over top of it. Okay, there we go. Oh, this dough, this dough ended up being so good. And cleaned out the bowl. It's great consistency of dough. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of get it all together right here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flatten it out just a tad. I'm gonna put another piece of parchment over top. And then guess what? I'm gonna use my measured rolling pin. So this is one of my very favorite baking tools that makes it really easy to get the right thickness. I usually set my my cookies to about three eighths of an inch. So that's what I've got here. And again, this is a measured rolling pin. I uh, got links to it on my website at lollyshomekitchen.com if you want to check that out. So first of all, um, I'm going to go, I'm going to roll side to side. And sometimes you're going to have to just push it down to get it to start to spread out. go and then I'm gonna roll the other way and I'm really gonna put some really gonna put some pressure on here to push that dough out I usually end up getting my uh, counter is a little slippery okay so I'm really pushing and I kind of end up getting my forearms involved too all right so I've at the, at the last, uh, kind of the last rollout that you do before you bring the parchment paper off is go from the middle this way and then also go from the middle the other way and that'll just ensure that you don't have any sitting on, you know, anything higher in the middle. Make sure that it's nice and smooth. And then we're gonna take the parchment off. You have a beautifully flat, perfect thickness dough that we, now we can go ahead and use our cookie cutters. I have two shapes of cookie cutters. These are two of my favorites. I've got a heart here, and then I also have just a scalloped edge circle. So we're gonna start with a scalloped edge circle. And I love to use a cookie cutter that has more of a sharp edge. Uh, I have a whole episode about cook that includes some information about cookie cutters and how to find really good ones. So go check that one out. But this one has a nice sharp edge. And then same with this, these metal cookie cutters also have a nice sharp edge and get a good cut. Oops, okay. So now let me show you how to get this on the tray really easily. Some of these are just gonna kinda come out on their own. But the other way is that you can actually lift up the parchment paper and then It'll give, your, it'll give you a little, bit of, um, a little bit of leverage to pick up the shape and not have the shape stick. Okay, so same with this heart. And we'll definitely wanna make sure that I don't mess up the shape of the heart. So being able to lift up the parchment paper, if we're using a baking mat, like a, like a silk hat or something, then same kind of thing. You'll be able to just pick it up from the bottom and place it on your tray. All 
All right, so you're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna gather up that dough, go ahead and put it on the parchment again, and put your other piece on top, and go ahead and roll it out, cut the rest of your dough out, and get it on your trays. Here we go. Okay, so I baked up these cookies. I chilled them, I got them all baked. They are, ooh. Oh, I can smell them. Thank you for letting me share with you my signature vanilla almond sugar cookie recipe. I hope that you try it. When you do, go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you think of it. I can't wait to see what you think. Do you love decorating sugar cookies or want to learn how to decorate with royal icing? Cookie Camp is a five-part workshop series that will give you insider secrets to professional cookie decorating right in your own kitchen. You'll learn how to make the best sugar cookies, royal icing, and how to decorate them. Plus, we'll show you how to get incredible designs every time. No more frustration or wasted ingredients. We've got you covered, so all you have to do is have fun with it. Join us in Lolly's Cookie Camp and let us help you take your cookie game from amateur hour to pro status. With our expert guidance, you'll have tons of fun and loads of success. And if there are any questions along the way, just ask one of our friendly team members who are more than happy to help out when needed. So what do you say? Are you ready for some serious fun? Let's get started today. Sign up using the link below before spots run out.